welcome back to my channel so today I have a really fun video if you guys know me then you know I am obsessed with anything glittery anything with bling on it I'm just like ever since I was a kid that's just been my thing I love things that sparkle things that glitter I guess I'm one of those typical girly girl types so if you pair that with also being a kind of DIY type of person which I really am then you will get what this video is so it's kind of been a thing of mine to kind of just be dazzle like anything that I pretty much can and one of the things that I've been loving to do lately is actually getting these affordable glasses I'm not sponsored by them or anything but you can honestly just get super affordable glasses online I live in Canada so I really like I buy direct because they're super affordable the shipping is great I believe you get free shipping if you spend over a certain amount and it's just really affordable glasses and they're really stylish and cute but I actually bought a couple of pair of glasses like a month or two ago and they were really pretty but I also had like this idea in my head I'm like hmm I wonder how the sides would look if I like blinged it up myself so this is what happened I got this pair of glasses they're really cute they're like kind of like a transparent melon color and they're really pretty for the summertime and I added this bling to the sides and I just feel like they're so cute they're really funky they're pretty they're girly and they were so easy to do so I thought I might as well share it with you guys how I did it and when I go out, I always get compliments on these glasses. People are always like, oh my God, where did you buy your glasses? And I kind of have to explain that I did it myself on the side. I added these jewels to the side. So I'll put them on so you guys can see them on, even though I have contacts on. So you can see the sides are just adorable. These glasses are actually really dirty right now, but you can see the sides are so pretty. They're so girly. I'm just pretty much obsessed with blinging anything. So this was so fun to do, it was so easy. In my tutorial, you guys will see what I use, kind of like a step-by-step. I explained in the beginning all the products that I use and things that you guys will need and I of course linked everything in the description box So these are actually the glasses that I blinged out today. They're kind of like a similar pair They're just more on the brownish side and I added some different jewels to them Like an iridescent one that almost has like a little bit of like different colors like green pink so I kind of mixed a bronzy one with iridescent just to make the, the sides a little bit different than the other pair. I've also like bedazzled a bunch of things. I have this phone case that I bedazzled. It's actually like a year old. So it kind of did last even though a few of the jewels fell off and like this middle part here is all scratched up. It lasted quite a while and it's really fun to like get just a clear phone case and just your own jewels on them and you can honestly do so much. I also have this bikini top that I bedazzled and I actually wore it to the beach and I washed it and I was kind of worried about the jewels falling off in the washer but I think like only one fell off so that was pretty cool and I just bought a nude bikini top on purpose so I could just kind of add my own jewels on and I thought that it was so fun to do and you can honestly do this with anything, so I will show you the specific glue I use and everything. So if you guys wanna see how I bedazzled these glasses, then please keep on watching. Okay guys, so the most important thing that you will need to bling out your own anything pretty much, your glasses, sunglasses, hats, you can pretty much honestly do whatever you want, any tops, pretty much the world is your oyster with this. You will need this E6000. This is a glue, it is waterproof, it is non-flammable, it's paintable and it's flexible. So this is really good for clothes because Sometimes, you know, your your diamonds or your jewels will just like fall off. This is good for clothes because it flexes with the clothes, so you don't have to worry about it being too stiff, but it will stay on pretty strong. You will get minimal fallout. If you're really rough with it, things could pop off, but that is just kind of, you know, wear and tear with anything pretty much. But this is very good because it's flexible. You can put it in the wash if you do any shirts, so this glue is the best. You'll see that I have a bunch of little jewels here. These are like gemstones. They're not not real crystals I did buy them off of eBay and I have actually a bunch of different kinds they're very shiny they're very sparkly you can honestly buy them anywhere any craft store of your choice will have these I find that they're cheaper off of eBay but just keep in mind that it will take longer to ship so if you're in like a crunch for time then you might want to go to any craft store that sells them but you will be paying more I found some really nice ones off of eBay I can link them in the description box I'm sure you can even find them off of Amazon so I really love these ones over here because I find that they are super shiny. I look the most like these Swarovski crystals in my opinion. What can help you is also to get these syringes. You can buy them off of Amazon. I will also link them in the description. And it helps to put the glue into the syringes and you get a bunch of different size tips here. So you can just be really precise with this. 
I don't always use it, especially for the glasses. I find that I don't really need to be so precise just because it's kind of just, you'll see when I, when I do it, um, you don't really need the syringes, but it can help you if you are new to this and you just want to be really precise for certain things. So this is definitely something that you guys should keep in mind. These help a lot when you're being super precise. I also bought this off of Amazon. I kind of like a putty that you can put on the back of it. So this just helps the crystals stick way easier so it's easy just to like pick up the crystal with a sticky end so this is the little sticky thing that comes with it you kind of just put a little piece off and then you can stick it onto this end here and that really helps pick up the crystals so that will save you a lot of time guys because these crystals are very tiny and you'll just find that this will save you so much time so i just ripped off a little chunk over here and then i'm just going to stick it to the metal part of this little device I will of course link everything for you guys and you'll see that this just picks up the crystals so much easier and quicker and you'll just be going super fast with this so you just kind of want to like fasten it to the end and that is just a great little tool there this also came with the little pen here and this is really good to organize your crystals and it just keeps them organized so you can put whichever ones you want to use into there so i really like to mix these two styles together one of them is like clear with like iridescent shimmers and one of them is more golden. So I think for these glasses, I'm gonna mix them both and just do a couple of each. So these are all different shapes and sizes, which I like. I kind of like to mix and match the sizes. So it's not like all one size. I like the look of like a few smaller crystals mixed with a few bigger ones. I just personally think that looks nice, but you guys could do whatever you like. And these are just a pair of glasses I got online. They're from I Buy Direct. I'm not sponsored, but I always like to buy my glasses from there because they have really nice designs and they're super affordable. And if you kind of mess these up, these were like, I think 20 bucks or 25 bucks. It's not the end of the world. So these are prescription glasses because I do need them to see. So that's just an idea if you guys want to just play around with a pair of glasses that aren't super <laughs> designer or expensive. These are really fun because you can just get really creative with them. Okay, so I'm not going to be using a syringe because I'm just going to, as you can see, just kind of roughly place the glue onto the outer part of the glasses here. You don't have to be perfect. I like to do almost the whole side here, but it does dry pretty quickly, so I'm not going to do everything right now. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue. And then if I need more, I could always add more after. As you can see, I will put some of the bigger crystals just kind of spread out just to make it even and then I add the little ones all around. that it's one side complete it honestly did not take long at all I decided just to cut it off around this point here because you won't really see this part here and that would touch your ear so it might be a little bit uncomfortable so I really like how this side turned out I like to just pat down the jewels into that glue just just to make sure that they're really set in there and this will take 24 hours to fully set so just keep that in mind and you can see how pretty that looks. I am now off to do the other side.
Okay guys, so that was it. That's how I bedazzled these glasses. As you can see, it was so easy to do. Super quick actually also, especially because like you're not really blinging out like a big area. The sides of the glasses are quite thin and it was just really fun to do. I just think that it adds such like a cool look. And honestly, you will get complimented on this when you go out because people just like are drawn to sparkly things like I am. Because <laughs> whenever I go out, they're always like, oh my God, where did you get your glasses? I love the sparkle. And it's just something fun to do. It's cute. These glasses were super affordable. I can even link them in the description if you guys want to know what pair I got. This is from iBuyDirect and they're just really fun. They're cute. I love how they're like transparent with a little bit of color. See the sides are so cute. It just adds that little extra fizzazz and it's really fun. So it does take about 24 hours for this glue to fully set. So just don't wear them for at least one day and then once they're fully set, you will be good to go. So I love my bedazzled glasses. Please let me know if you guys like this video. If you guys have something that you guys are going to bedazzle, you can even do sunglasses. I actually also did a pair of sunglasses that I bedazzled the sides. So it's just a really cute DIY activity to do, especially in this quarantine. You can do it with whoever you live with, a friend outside, and just have fun blinging things out. So guys, if you like this video, if you wanna bling something of your own out, then please let me know in the comments what you ended up doing, or if you like learned something new, or if I gave you a fun idea, please let me know in the comment section. Also leave any other video ideas for me in the comments. I would love to read them and get some more ideas. And please give this a video a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe if you're not already, and also give a thumbs up if you like sparkly things like I do. So thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!